Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. It's amazing, every season there's always something that gives me uh, an unexpected surprise in the garden, something that is against all the odds of what's been happening, um, be it a fig or a pineapple guava or an exotic fruit plant that suddenly decided to flower or produce a fruit for me. And um, if you've seen, you'd have seen my recent video where I was bemoaning the fact that all of the main crop figs have been falling off this tree. I'm actually filming this on the 28th of uh, September and you'll be aware that I've been pointing out that what I thought were going to be decent main crop figs this year, the tree's been dropping them left, right and centre, virtually all of them have been dropped so far and what's happening is they're rotting on the tree. Now it doesn't help that we've just had a week's worth of torrential rain, although it's dry today, but these were discolouring, drying out and rotting. Look at these ones here. These were all starting to dry out and rot and abort a week ago. But I was standing back in the garden while I was filming another video and something caught my eye at the top of the tree, um, which looks like I'm just going to get up and have a look. It looks like a fig that might actually have swollen up and be edible, i.e. a main crop fig. It's not a, um, it's not a braber, of course. It'll be a main crop fig. And uh, to be honest, the ladder's not very stable because we've had torrential rains to ground soft. But look, there is some damage on this. But this... It hasn't rotted. It looks to me like an edible fig. Now what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to pick it. It's not a peak ripeness, but it is soft. Now that, there's some damage on it where it's been resting on the branch, but that looks to me like a fully developed edible main crop fig. And I've seen there's one more on the tree as well, which is in a, an exposed position, which doesn't appear to have been touched by the birds, and I might put a bag round it. But this looks fine. It hasn't rotted off. And if it is, this will be the first main crop fig of this year. So I'm actually going to go and uh, cut this open and flip the camera around and have a look at it and see what it's like inside because despite the rain we've had this week and obviously we haven't had any sun until the bit we've had today despite the rain this hasn't split open and it hasn't gone all mouldy so uh, let me get down from the ladder and we'll cut this open and see if it is actually edible in size it's okay so here we are sitting down just giving it a quick wash get any bird muck off it so what we're going to have a look at is let's reset the scales because I'm curious to know what it weighs 4.2 ounces which is 119 try that again 119 grams decent weight let's cut this open see what this looks like inside Well, I can't see anything wrong with that. Let's let you see the inside. And this actually, it's a mix of colours, but that has actually got like a, a nice syrupy looking centre to it. So I think I need to flip the camera around and we'll uh, do a tasting and uh, see how edible it is. Okay, so that was a huge, really good sized fig. Let's see if the promise took up to it. I did not expect to be tasting a main crop fig off this tree this year, especially not at the end of September. Mmm. That is lovely 
not so much the neck but the bit that's sort of red and a pale yellow colour sweet fruity and I'm not even sure that's going to be the sweetest bit I think if I cut the other half that's got that syrup in I've got a feeling that's going to be even better Mm. What an unbelievable surprise to see and get a main crop fig off the tree. I've no idea. I think the other one that's large might ripen. I might go and put a bag on it to save the birds pecking it. I can't see any others that look on there like they're going to make it to maturity. But why that one or those two suddenly have and has swollen up instead of dropping off. I've no idea. It's not been warm the last week. It's been raining and raining. But that is very, very pleasant. A nice fig, really good size. Just a shame there's not another 20 or 30 of them, but there we are, that's life. Let's have the last bit as well. Mm. An unexpected pleasure this year. Well, thanks so much for watching. Mm. I didn't expect to have that pleasure this year at all. Yeah, thanks for watching. I think that deserves a big thumbs up. Share the video if you like. Please subscribe to my channel. And remember, you've got to click on that bell if you want to know when new video updates are coming out. I'll see you on the next video. Brett's out for now.